Okay, look at my stylish outfit. So fancy. I have on an athletic, like, they call it a sports bra. It's definitely a tank top, but it has a built-in sports bra, so I can wear it post-surgery. I still have to wear a bra full time with no underwire, so that's why I'm wearing this with leggings. These, like, shoes that I said I would never own, but these are from Target. And then a cardigan. Got that charging. Gotta grab my water. So you want strawberry? Yeah, you want strawberry too. Please make sure he doesn't backwash. <laughs> I don't like water. I don't like backwash. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Go get milkshake. What kind of flavor do you want, Ezra? Milkshake. Get some water and some strawberry. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Look at these glasses. You were behind the car when you did that too. I'm just a hot mess. Love you. Love you. Have fun. Working. Okay, so. Uh, gosh. Hey, hey, Sam, Sam. I know he heard me. Oh, here, here's one. Here, baby. Since this is your world, <laughs> we're all living in it. So these glasses are crooked. I'm a hot mess. I made the mistake of saying, like, oh, you know, we might just go get a milkshake because Roman isn't napping today. I actually finished the last vlog. Um, same day I'm starting this one and I think even in that vlog I mentioned like I was like Roman is not napping so he didn't nap surefire way to get that thing to nap car nap get in the car so I was like maybe we can go get a milkshake or something like it's really pretty outside in South Carolina and I was like maybe we'll go get a milkshake yeah don't say that in front of your toddler so he's going milkshake milkshake hi little minty be in the car because Roman cried the entire way so I'm back after my mental breakdown with my same crooked glasses. And we're gonna go outside. I just posted, oh, I just posted on Instagram. My Instagram sucks so much. I've been like posting on TikTok so much more. Okay. Okay. Um, Instagram just sucks lately. It doesn't show any of my style content, none. Like I posted an outfit and I ended up erasing it because I'm like, the first 10 minutes really do matter a lot with a post. It got like 24 views or something and it had 3,000 after 24 hours, which is not normal for me. So I posted like a random vlog and it shot up and like skyrocketed and I got so many views, which is great. But at the same time, like if you've built your community thinking they're getting fashion content and then you don't show them fashion content, it's just really frustrating. And it's like all Instagram's choice. Like you don't get to choose what works and what doesn't for you. Instagram chooses entirely. So yay, that's really fun. Uh, e, come here. But I did just put up something about postpartum. Here, here baby, I got you a blanket too. Please. Hold on. No, no, no. Here, we can go get Bubba his blanket in one second. Let's put this on you with these. Oh, this does not match. It's fine. We're going outside to play. Yeah, I, I, Daddy. There you go. Hold on, bro. I'm coming. Yeah, you look crazy. You don't even match a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Who needs to match? Yeah. Okay. We're going outside, right? Yeah. Good job, E. Good job, <gasps> Rowan. This hey, is Cassie, what we do. Cassie, your car. Oh, Lord. Your car. Okay. Here I am Hi. thinking it's like a beautiful warm day. And it is very cold. I'm wearing sandals. I look so stylish. You guys can see from my shadow. Rowan, your hair is blowing. You look so silly. Hi. Oh, you're okay. We're coming over there in a minute. so much. I got rid of my Apple Watch. It's the best. I look amazing. So beautiful. The hair is fabulous. The outfit is all fleek. This is a... I'm wearing shorts. They're those Amazon ones that I talked about in a video. Like CRZ whatever brand. I'll link them below. They're so good. Yeah, boys in here doing all kinds of crazy stuff. We got this one. What are you doing? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, we gotta get on that bottom shelf. I've never realized how bad that is. What? How unorganized that bottom shelf looks. Uh, the bottom shelf is all within Ezra's list. Yeah. They absolutely love their playroom. I'll link the sign. They have it at their pediatrician's office. It's amazing. Look at the cup that Sam gave me my coffee in this morning. I'm the hubby today. Okay, so like I said, I have on those like CRZ shorts. Ah, this coffee's so hot. And they are seriously the most comfy, but it is freezing cold here this morning. We were having, I'm trying to watch my coffee. We were having peaks of spring weather, but we are not today. And the thing is, it'll change. Like, it's 8.07 right now. Yeah, okay, so it's 43 right now. It's supposed to get up to 59 and then go back down to 42. Go figure. All right, so I figured I would actually do something a little different. I wanted to walk y'all through some makeup favorites that I've been using now. Again, I am going through the different gel purging phase right now. So we are like full coverage. I'm wearing a hat today. Like, obviously I'm not gonna like style this hair and do anything with it. But I like to keep full coverage makeup on because we're real red around all this. And it's actually not that bad right now. When I first started using it, it was horrendous it was so freaking bad um that i i like wanted to cry because i was like this like they say the purging phase can last up to like three months or something it has kind of settled down but i am still going through it so hopefully it doesn't get that bad again like i had like patches that were like they would carry all the way down here and it was so bad so um also good skincare like you can kind of offset some of that stuff with good skincare. So I'm using the Cetaphil Daily Oil-Free Hydrating Lotion. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used underneath my makeup, ever. Cetaphil is very rosacea friendly, so I have found that to work really well. Also, this is a like acid. I'll link them all below. I absolutely love a Zalic acid. When I changed from, I was using a dime face wash um, that I liked. But as soon as I started using, uh, it's like Cetaphil sensitive skin or Cetaphil whatever face wash again, I'll put it below. Um, whenever I switched to that, almost instantly I noticed a huge reduction in my redness and azelaic acid also helped a ton. But so, so much of my redness comes from my acne. Like of course acne is red. So that's kind of why I'm trying to pinpoint that now. So um, if you are red, azelaic acid is and then we gotta do a sunscreen, Paula's Choice, one of my favorites. Um, I do use dimes sometimes, but I find that the dime one does not work well underneath the foundation I'm about to show y'all. I don't know why, but it does not like it. And usually dime sunscreen does not do that, so gotta be careful. I think it's just, I don't know. And then we are gonna use a primer today this is stila all about the blur and whenever i am using anything that is a primer what i do is i put it in my problem areas first and then i just kind of like venture out so for me my nose my t-zone my cheeks like this is kind of my problem area. i always like to give my primer a few minutes um if i can and then we're gonna go in with this hyaluronic acid and peptide lip booster that's what it's called um, I follow a dermatologist on TikTok and he swears this makes your lips look like you have lip filler. Like when you do hyaluronic acid and peptides, some people will literally just take their hyaluronic acid and peptide serums and put them on their lips and then, um, put like a, like Aquaphor or Vaseline or something to help, um, keep the product in, like lock it in place. He swears it makes your lips look like filler and so many people in the comment section were like, no, it really does. So this is the foundation I have been absolutely loving. I have it in colors F2 and F4. F4 for, is for when I have self-tanner on. I currently don't, but I need to self-tan. So we're gonna do F2. This is the Revolution IRL Filter Foundation. The first time you use it, even if you shake it, it is very watery, almost like prepare to basically just like wipe that off. Don't use it because it is a thicker foundation. I'm using a Morphe M6. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes of all time. I got it a week or two ago. I want to say it was last weekend. And 
It is hands down one of the best foundation brushes I've ever, ever, ever used. Again, I feel like the lighting in here is insane. I am so sorry. We're either overblown or under entering all shadow. I mean, it's a little white in person before we get it all spread out and even, but. And then I'll take what's left, like what's the very, very last and put it on my forehead today. We don't do, I literally only do a tiny bit of foundation and setting powder just in case I like take my hat off for like 3.2 seconds. I don't want it to like look crazy under there. So I do still wear foundation. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and we don't really need to talk through this part, but I'll talk through my brows and lashes with y'all. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. So this is the part of the brows where I change up. Sometimes I do the gel first and then I use a pencil. I find that I just use less product whenever I do the gel first. It's to each its own. But this is a volumizing brow filler. I have the color. You have to go in with such a light hand, you almost have to feel like you're not even touching your brows. But it has little fibers in it that make your brows a little bit fuller. So what I do is I basically wipe as much product as possible off the brush. And then I go in and I just ever so lightly. There have been a couple times I've used this and I was like, oh, looks awful. Because I would maybe go in with a little bit too heavy of a hand. So you have got to be careful. It is very powerful. But then it's done. So this is why I absolutely love this product. And I might go back in. I'm filling with a pencil. But honestly, I just feel like these are, like it's, it's truly the, prettiest like way to get that I don't, I don't like the trend i don't like to necessarily call it soapy brows but to get that like brushed brow look without it looking ridiculous like when people have like six hairs on their eyebrows and they just like all go up i don't like that look i feel like it does not look good on me so there we go and then i wait for my mascara to dry mascara though y'all know i've talked about this a million 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 times before this is the best brow Serum Grande Lash. Um, it is just the best serum, and I have never found a serum that works like that. It was six weeks of using it once a day, and I remember I looked in the mirror and I was like, holy cow, those are some lashes. And the longer I've used it, the better my lashes have looked. Instead of linking individual products, I'm, for the makeup, I'm gonna link, you can see my lashes. I'm gonna link, um, like an LTK link below. That should make it a little easier to shop, but yeah, we're we're good to go. My skin is insane right now, but we'll get through with it. It will be worth it, but let's get dressed. I think I almost forgot you guys. Let me show you the full outfit. Don't come at me for having shoes on in my house. I'm literally about to walk outside and they're like new, new, new. All right, love y'all. So we got one down for a nap and I'm trying to escape before the other one notices that I'm leaving. I got a jam to some T-Swift, so I'm gonna go. Okay, that actually was not bad, like at all. It took forever, it took an hour and a half, but I did have to get, what are they called, acrylics or like nails or whatever. And it wasn't even that expensive, so it wasn't bad. But this is why I always put makeup on my forehead. This bad boy right here gave me the biggest headache. This hat has like, I don't know, something about the way it folds. It like really presses on my forehead. It makes my jaw hurt. So, I won't be wearing this hat today. Way to go, 
bro. Daddy Green Man. Yeah. Love you. Be safe. Please let me know when you get there. You can see it better out here. Look at the pussy mark around his mouth. Can you see it? <laughs> You're so cute. Your daddy's toy, and you guys can't feel it. He is kicking his legs so hard in the back. It's so cute. Be safe. Love you. Okay guys, so I was gonna make a wrap. I'm not gonna make a wrap now. I'm gonna do a Philly cheesesteak calzone because I didn't realize we had these. They're so delicious. Mama Cozy's brand, you can get it from Aldi. They're absolutely insanely delicious. Philly cheesesteak, the all cheese, the pepperoni, the buffalo chicken, 14 out of 10. But I'm just gonna make some lunch and we're gonna hang out together because Bubba just went down for his nap. So we got three hours. Three hours till Bubba wakes up. Three hours till Bubba wakes up. Does this not literally look like Sam? In like, I'm holding my husband just in like a little seven month old form. He's like, lady, please stop. Okay, anyway, so thank y'all so much for watching. Say, click the subscribe button for more. And we'll see you next time.